Welcome to OBD Sync. I'm Jason and today's tutorial is how to replace a Holden VF instrument panel cluster. So first off, click on the vehicle option, then click on the instrument panel cluster tile. It will then bring up our options available to program this item. First, we're gonna click the flashing tab along the top and then when ready, we're gonna click the right button. This is gonna program the required calibration files to suit that exact cluster for that exact car. It will download the files that are required and it will then begin the flashing procedure. We'll see we'll have some warnings appear on the dash. It will then also go black once it starts the actual flashing as we see here. Once it's completed, the instrument cluster will flash and then it will also reboot and we'll see that little startup animation. And that's it now completed and programmed. We then want to turn off for this cluster specifically. We're turning off the TPMS option simply because it's been removed from this car. So we've gone and turned it off in the configurable section. We'll then click right and it's gonna proceed and perform the same flashing procedure. This only takes about 15, 20 seconds uh, as before. That's now done. We can go ahead and press okay. Our next step is to go to the learn functions tab. We then need to click on the configure and setup button. This only takes a few seconds to proceed and we'll put all the required settings to suit that exact vehicle into that cluster. We can then go to our configurations tab. We'll click the read button and this will update to show all the current configuration setups uh, that we can change. In this uh, case, we're gonna turn on the performance menu and the oil life remaining and a couple other items here. Then when ready, go ahead and click on right. This also only takes a few seconds to complete. We'll press okay with the prompt. And finally, our last step is our VIN security link. So we'll press uh, go here. It will then have a pop-up indicating we need to have a battery maintainer on and that this procedure will take over 11 minutes to complete. In this video, we have fast forwarded this section simply because it is 11 minutes long. So we are uh, skipping through the time very quickly here and we'll stop when we get to our last five seconds. The whole point of this section is to VIN security link it as well as put the required uh, security information into it. And that is what's gonna remove those dashes on the cluster and actually show the odometer reading. So it's all properly linked together and remove any security faults that will be in the background. Here we are as it performs the uh, linking. Once it's done, we're gonna follow these prompts. We're gonna actually turn the ignition off and open and close the door. We're gonna wait a good 30 seconds and then turn the ignition on. In this video, we have fast forwarded this part just so that we're not wasting time. And we'll go ahead and we'll see here, we'll turn the ignition back on again. Then once done, we can go ahead and press okay. And that is now completed. That cluster is now fully configured and also securely linked to the car and ready to go. Finally, you can go to the DTCs tab and click on the read faults. You have just a history fault sitting there which you can now clear away. So we'll click clear and we'll get rid of that uh, history fault there. And that's all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.